What's up anime fans, Soul here, back at it again, ready to take you on a feels trip and have you laughing the whole way, and that's because today I'm bringing you my 5 favorite romantic comedy series of all time. You can stream every single one of these free in HD on crunchyroll.com slash soul, so make sure and go check them out, and there are tons of other rom-coms out there and plenty on my list to watch in the future, so I'm teaming up again with my favorite anime app, Anime Amino, not only to do another manga giveaway for everyone, but also so you guys can go vote on which one of these that you like best, and let me know your favorites as well. Thousands of you guys voted in the last few polls, so let's keep the fun going. Check out the download links in the description and more about that in the giveaway later in the video. But for now, do you want to know how to raise a boring girlfriend? Saikano Sainai Heroin no Sodate Kata, also known as How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. Well, our main character Tomoya might be able to tell you, but 2D girls only. Saikano revolves around Tomoya Aki chasing the otaku lifestyle in Japan with all of his heart. Have a favorite anime? You can bet Tomoya already has the light novels and figures sitting on his desk. Kill a Kill, Sword Art Online, Amagi Brilliant Park, you name it, tons of anime are featured in one way or another in this anime because the studio, A1 Pictures, has the rights to so many of them. <laughs> Kirito from SAO is also voicing our main character like he has for many MCs over the past couple years. So basically in this romantic comedy harem, Tomoya has to create the best visual novel computer game that he can, turning to his classmates for help. Our classic twin tailed tsundere and professional adult doujinshi artist, Eriri Sawamura, along with the famous light novelist exuding beauty and brilliance, an absolute best girl, Utaha Kasumiga Oka Senpai. Utaha is a huge reason to watch this show, at least for me, I adore her and she's freaking hilarious. Utaha. We also have Megumi Kato, who Tomoya recruits to model for the heroine for his game, but she is extremely ordinary on purpose. The story follows all of these characters as they try to develop this game for Japan's epically huge Komiket convention, which I'm really hoping to be at later this year. This series encapsulates so many things that I love about anime and the culture in Japan and the otaku lifestyle. It's just ultimately so much fun to watch and it's hilarious. Watch it for some great laughs and a fun story. By the way, if you're a fan of Gurren Lagann, you'll love the last episode and season 2 of Saikano is right around the corner. <laughs> Do you like girls with glasses? Well then, Hyokai no Kanata or Beyond the Boundary is absolutely for you. However, don't be fooled like I was. Just because you pour your heart out to a bespectacled beauty under the sunset doesn't mean she won't stab you in the chest. Come on, this is anime. What else were you expecting? It also doesn't mean the girl in your book club won't spend all of her time ridiculing you about liking girls with glasses. 
私から告白されるという夢が叶わないわよいつからそれが僕の夢になった秋人は巨乳なら誰でもいい節操のない変態だものね For one of my favorite male protagonists in any series, Akihito Kanbara's life changes the day he meets Mirai Kuriyama, the girl of his dreams and her prominent glasses, though I don't quite think she's exactly what he was expecting. <laughs> Kyokai no Kanata is hilarious. Throughout the series, we get plenty of laughs, but when the Yomu or Dream Shades, these phantom like supernatural creatures, attack, things take a very dark turn. As we delve into the lives of our main characters and their fates intertwine, you may end up a bit confused and lost as to where the series is going, but keep watching until the later episodes and everything comes together. The romance and raw emotion will just Hit you like a ton of bricks. Kyoto Animation delivers spectacular, beautiful animation as always, and if nothing else, the opening and ending songs are absolutely incredible. Actually, I told someone to be related One day, I was wondering how a guy finding himself in a girl's body would react. Exact words from Hiro Mashima's assistant, Miki Yoshikawa, when she was coming up with the idea for her own series. After helping out Hiro with Fairy Tale and Rave Master, Yoshikawa has created her hit romantic comedy, Yamada kun and the Seven Witches. One day, the school delinquent, Yamada, accidentally falls down a flight of stairs, landing on absolute best girl, Arara Shiraishi, causing them to make a switch. The only way back into each other's bodies? Easy, simple, a kiss. Shidaishi is love, Shidaishi is life. I fell in love with this anime almost immediately because of her. You can't help but feel for the red cross hair clipped blonde class genius when she's bullied by the other students who are envious of her and root for Yamada when he tries his best to help her out even though he seemingly only cared about himself. Though if you're switching bodies to solve each other's problems eventually, someone might take notice and so the story of the seven witches and their unusual powers unfolds, in my opinion, this series has the perfect balance of romance and comedy. If you're like me, you'll be rooting for Yamada and Shidaishi up till the very end. Yamada-kun puts a unique spin on the switching bodies cliche and definitely mixes things up, much to my surprise. Also remember, throughout the entire series, I was wondering why Shidaishi reminds me so much of Fairy Tale's main girl, Lucy Hartfilia, and then I finally figured it out. The creator learned everything she knows from Hiro Mashima. Recently, Hiro said he's always wanted Yoshikawa to make her own manga. She's always exceeded his expectations when working on Fairy Tale. That's why this week I wanted to do a giveaway for the first volume of her manga, Yamada kun and the Seven Witches. All you have to do is make sure to like the video, be subscribed, and go leave a comment about your favorite romantic comedy or character from Yamada kun on my manga post on Anime Amino. Links to my profile and to download the app will all be in the description below, and all the details will be on my profile. But let's move on to the most emotional rom-com that I've ever seen. The Pet Girl of Sakura So is one of those series that you just can't stop watching no matter how hard you try. It's one of those stories that can make you laugh, cry, hate the world, wonder what the fuck you're doing with your life, want to fall in love, or just want to give up, or even want to try your absolute best. All of the emotions portrayed in Sakura So are just too much for words. The animation captured me long ago, and I had been saving it for quite a while, so I only watched it recently, but I already knew I was going to love it. I just never expected to love it so much, and the depth of the characters and story far exceeded any expectations I had within the first three episodes. It's a series that can actually make an impact on your life. Sarata no koto, 
So after being kicked out of the normal dorms, our main character, Sorata, is forced to move into Sakura Hall with all of the weird kids, the outcasts, but they all have these amazing grades or art skills. There's something special about them, there's something unique about them. Sorata, however, lives a pretty uneventful life, that is, until the world-famous artist Shina Mashido transfers to a school and dorm from England, aspiring to be a manga artist rather than a painter. <laughs> How do I put this? Shina is... Well, Shina is an idiot, but she's the cutest idiot you'll ever see because she lacks any common sense whatsoever, and all of the responsibility to take care of her falls on Sorata's shoulders. The story really revolves around Sorata finding himself, discovering what he wants out of life, and not just him, but all the characters have such interesting plot lines throughout this very dramatic romantic comedy. Even talking about it, I seriously just want to go rewatch it right now. I would love to do a full length video on the series, but I don't know how it would convey all of these very in depth emotions. It's just one of those series that you have to immerse yourself in if you're a fan of good anime. Just maybe watch it over two or three days and marathon it. <laughs> I just recommended it to a good friend of mine and he was telling me how he can't be so depressed right now. I promise you, you're in for an emotional roller coaster. And just so we're clear, I really feel for Aoyama, but I'm rooting for Mashido all the way. Also a tip after the ending and a certain cat makes you want to go kill yourself, go read the light novel ending. It eases the pain just a little bit. <laughs> お、<笑><笑> <laughs> who doesn't love a kudade who can pull a magical gun out of her skirt at will? Amaki Brilliant Park is one of the most enjoyable series I've ever seen. I cannot watch this anime without laughing hysterically and being so entertained. It's not about the story, this series is all about the characters. Every character is distinct in a way that makes you laugh or just love them. Like I said, best girl Sinto Azuzu who has a gun that she can pull out from under her skirt at any time forces the main character and a huge narcissist, Kaniseya, to go on a date with her. But she has an ulterior motive to save a rundown amusement park from closing its doors. Honestly, if you turn down a date with Sinto, there's no hope for you anyways, so of course Kani accepts but mostly because of the gun in his face. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Kani, the park staff are all from a magical realm, and they need magical energy to live, which they gain from park visitors having fun. Sento brings Connie to the detestable park so he can help her save it, and trust me, it needs a lot of saving when the adorable little animals go drinking every night, get in fights, beat the shit out of visitors, and mess with Sento constantly. Non-stop hilarity, one of the funniest series that I've ever seen, filled with one of the most amusing casts of all time. <laughs> I definitely ship the two main characters. Sinto is perfect, Kani is perfect for her. If you love a fun comedy with a little romance thrown in, then you have to check this one out. Very, very sadly, it's much more heavy on the comedy than the romance, and I'm dying for a second season to continue where we left off, and you probably will be too. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my top 5 romantic comedies of all time. I love some others like Nisei Koi that I've mentioned in past videos, and I still have a ton that I need to watch. 
My Little Monster is probably up next on my list and I'm always open to recommendations from you guys. So leave your top five in the comments, your top five romantic comedy series and make sure to go vote on your favorites on my Anime Amino poll. It's been really fun. Last time you guys voted for the best fairy tale girls with my precious Lucy coming in first place, then the badass Urza, and the third one was kind of surprising. You guys voted for Mavis. Of course go enter the giveaway for the Yamatakun manga and next time we may just be giving away another fairy tale volume as well so stay tuned for that. Like and share the video it really supports the channel and helps me out. Subscribe for some more heart pounding anime and thank you guys so much for watching. Arigato. Johnny. Thank you.